towards the end of February, I came home one day uh, to it basically raining in my house. It was not raining outside. Think Jumanji. I figured I should start trying to film some stuff of the renovations that are happening. They were so close to being done. Even if you look at the floors, you can probably see like the lines of like where the floorboards were supposed to be. There was some kind of moisture or something that was coming in to the wall that was like messing with like the insulation and the piping was all messed up or something. So then they ended up having to cut out the wall that they just finished. <laughs> and they ended up having to pull up the floor that they just put down. That is the wall that they had to tear out. And then also the ceiling they finally took down. This ceiling did not look like this yesterday. And this is all of the ceiling tiles that they took down with all that super gross insulation. So that means that that stump has to be fixed. And so right now we're going back and forth between the waterproofing people and the contractors to figure out who's going to be the one to fix it. You know, everybody's pointing the finger like, oh, you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to do it. Somebody's gotta do it, it's gotta get done. So that is another thing that we're kind of in the middle of is trying to get that settled so that that can get fixed so that they can start working on the bathroom. And we are back with another update. So the last time I updated you guys, I'm pretty sure, is when they first started working on this room and they were in the process of like framing out the ceiling. And so as you can see, the ceiling is now done. It's been painted. Um, it's just like that hole right there, the vent cover or whatever goes in that hole but otherwise like the, the ceiling is done it's painted the lights are installed and they work so that's amazing um, I have been waiting for them to get the lights working in this room uh, because I want to show you guys what the color of the walls look like in comparison to what they used to be so my walls used to actually be green and every time I say that people are like oh they were it's almost like people didn't notice which maybe they didn't um, I definitely <laughs> noticed and I, obviously I knew because I picked out that green color back in like 2013 so now that I'm an adult and I'm not a college student in a dorm room somewhere um, I, I decided that I wanted to get you know white walls I wanted something that was gonna be a little more neutral a little more versatile and not have green walls throughout the entire you know place um, but you can see like down here at the bottom I don't know how clear it is on, on camera but down at the bottom you can see like that little strip of green when they painted the wall they didn't paint all the way down to the floor because that area is gonna be covered with like the base trim anyway so you can really see like the remnants of the green down there at the bottom because they didn't paint it I'm glad that the color turned out as well as it did I was really worried about the color honestly I know that if you guys like follow me on sprints and stuff then you probably like saw me like looking at paint swatches and trying to figure out what to do um, so I decided to go with a color called Blank Canvas. I forget who makes it, I think it might be Bear, I don't remember. I had a really hard time trying to decide what color I wanted to get for these walls down here because it is a basement, which means that it doesn't really get any natural light. It is all, for the most part, like I would say like 95% artificially lit with lighting in the ceiling. I needed something that wasn't gonna be too stark white because one of the things that I learned throughout this process was that you don't wanna use like super stark whites in the basement especially because it doesn't get natural lighting because what'll happen is, I guess the way the light like bounces off the white and reflects and stuff, it can make like the corners of the room look really like dark and dingy. And so I didn't want that obviously, but I also didn't want anything that was gonna be too warm because when I film, because I do a lot of my, you know, filming for my YouTube and stuff down here, I have found that when I film in rooms that either the lighting is too warm or the wall color is too warm, it can make the video feel really dark. And I end up having to kind of overcompensate on the other end by like turning up the ice so we're trying to like mess with the brightness while I'm editing and stuff like that. Didn't want anything that was gonna be too gray because again, not a lot of natural lighting down here. So we didn't want it to be like super gloomy and depressing. So it took me a while to land on this color. Also, the other thing that I had to take into consideration is that this had to go over top of the green. So I needed something that was going to cover up the green without being, like I said, too gray or too warm but also still like opaque enough that it can cover up the green and I have the green bleed through. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot that I had to take into consideration when I was deciding what color to get and so I'm very happy with the color that I decided to go with. The trim color, I can't remember what it's called. I'll show it to you. So this is the color that the trim used to be. This is very clearly, I don't know how, how well it's coming through on camera, but this is very clearly a gray trim color. So this was the color that all the trim was, like around the door frames and the baseboards and stuff like that. This is the new color for the trim right here. Um, I don't know how apparent it is on camera how different these colors are but like that color that's over there is like i said definitely a gray um, whereas this color over here 
is more of like a grayish. It took me a while to find the trim color as well because uh, one of the things that I did not realize and as I was going through the different paint swatches and stuff and looking at everything, sometimes colors will look different just because they're next to a certain color. So I needed to find a trim color that wasn't going to pull out too much of the warmth from this blank canvas color, but I also needed a trim color that wasn't gonna be too light or too white that was gonna make this blank canvas color like look too dingy or you know what I mean? Like I needed to find the right color to complement this one. And then I also had to take into consideration that the entire basement is all being painted one color on the wall and one color for the trim. So the whole basement is all one color. It's not like, oh, there's one color in this room and one color in that room. Like, no, everything is, is getting one trim color. Everything is getting one wall color. So I needed to find a trim color that was going to complement all three rooms because the decor and the color scheme in each room is slightly different. So like my bedroom, the color scheme um, is silver accents, whereas the living room is gold accents. And then the office space is also gold accents. So I needed to find a trim color that was going to be complementary to both gold and silver, which are like opposite ends of the spectrum because gold is obviously warm and silver is obviously a cool tone. So trying to find something that was gonna complement both was not easy. And also, like I said, not look funky with this blank canvas cover color at the same time. The same thing when it came to picking out the floor color because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen in other videos of mine that my floor will used to be like a tan color, like almost like the color of this. Well, the lighting's not great so you can't see, but it was basically like a, like a light tan hardwood kind of looking floor. It wasn't actual hardwood, I think it was like vinyl or something. And this is laminate, but it like looks like hardwood obviously. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to go with the light shade of tan flooring that I had before because that color gets dirty so easily. I wanted something that was not going to get as dirty as quick as that color did. That was definitely like a learning experience for me. Again, that was flooring that I picked out back in 2013 when I didn't know anything. <laughs> now that I'm a little bit older, a little bit wiser, I now know that that is not something that I plan on doing in the future. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with this color, but again, this is kind of like a grayish, but also it has like highlights or like hints of like warm brown colors. So again, was trying to find something that was going to complement the rooms that are always be silver, but also the rooms that will be gold. So the fact that it is kind of on the gray side, but also has like some, you know, brownish coming through, I think that will work really well. I think it'll complement everything really well. Like it's the only time we'll tell once we start actually putting everything in, in, in place, like the furniture and the decor, we'll see. They still have to, like I said, do the floor in this room. And then also they still have not done anything with this bathroom yet. The toilet is still missing, the sink, is out here somewhere like that thing is like the sink vanity cabinet thing. The actual sink itself is like hanging from the wall right now. <laughs> I don't really know why, but that's the sink. Like I said, there's no toilet down here. So there's still work to be done. And this wall is still not done, <laughs> which is really frustrating. I really, really like, like makes me die a little bit on the inside every time I see that wall looking the way that it looks. And I'm just like, ah, like everything else looks so good out here. And then you just see that wall and it's like, ah. <laughs> But I, like I said, I'm hopeful. I think that this will work out really well and I like the way that things are looking so far. So as always, I will keep you guys posted once a little bit more work has been done. I do apologize because I'm sure the camera angles of all of this have been absolutely horrible. <laughs> but it's because I'm holding the phone with my hand. I don't have like my selfie stick or my tripod or anything. I'm holding it with my hand and my arm is hurting. So <laughs> this, is the, this is the quality that we're getting. Hello, it is day, I have no idea what, but I am back, you know, home. It's, you can see the wall is still not done. <laughs> um, but I came over here at like eight o'clock this morning because there was so much to do. The So the plan was that the movers were supposed to be coming because I don't know if I said this in any other clips, but at some point, like a month or two ago, we had movers come to, what did they do? Oh yeah, they had to move some of the furniture out of here 
and we got like a little like u-haul box that we just kept in the driveway and we needed to move the furniture out so that the contractors could do what they needed to do down here so we moved out a lot of stuff there was still a lot of stuff still down here but the u-box was only but so big so it can only hold but so much stuff so we tried to move the things that are either going to eventually go out in the trash or things that were like really big and took up a lot of space down here and the things that we left down here was stuff that was like on wheels so we could like move around a little bit easier or stuff that needed to be down here because i was like still actively using it or whatever like that so now the movers are coming back today to unload the u-box and bring stuff back in here and also like i said some of that stuff is going on the trash bulk trash day is tomorrow so we have to get stuff you know out from the lawn so that the bulk trash can go out also the electric company the gas and electric company is coming today to pick up my refrigerator so i that was one of the reasons why i got up so early was because i needed to clean this refrigerator i think i talked at some point about there being people coming to do waterproofing and so that was done i think probably like the last week in june but um when they were doing the waterproofing there's like a stump that the toilet sits on because the toilet is in a basement it has to sit like on this thing so that when it flushes it can like push it back up and out the house um, and so the stump that it sits on that allows that mechanism to take place, they broke it. <laughs> so there has not been a toilet down here probably for a month, maybe a little bit longer at this point. There's been no toilet down here. Um, so they were supposed to be coming today to fix the stump and install a new toilet. Turns out the person that came was a plumber and he told us that while he can install the, to install the toilet, he can't install the toilet in until the stump is fixed, which we already knew. That was the whole point as to why we called these people because we wanted them to fix the stump and install the toilet turns out he only does the toilet part not the stump part so they have to call somebody else like that does like concrete work or something to do the stump part and so now the toilet situation is not going to get fixed today it's not going to get fixed until tomorrow which i mean i guess i'd rather be tomorrow than have to wait like another week or longer it's already been like a month so <laughs> what's 24 hours right <laughs> So this is what's left and now you can see like the floor finally and you can see like some of the trim and the lights you can just see a lot more also they put the bed covers on so that's finally done and then this room is now mostly finished as well so like again the floors are done the baseboards the walls are painted they also put these little access panel things this thing i don't know how this works i think you're supposed to, it's supposed to be like it's called a spring loaded access panel i don't have any idea what that means Based on the name alone, I'm assuming that like you're supposed to like push it and like there's a spring in it. So when you push it, it like springs open, but I tried pushing it and nothing happens. So I don't know if they haven't finished installing it yet or if I just don't know what I'm doing and it's just completely years of error. I don't know because I can't get that thing to open, but they did that. So yeah, things are coming together. It still looks like a mess right now. The gas and electric company is supposed to be on their way. So they should be here shortly. Also the movers were supposed to be here at two o'clock and it's 2.25, so they're late. It's gonna be a little bit of a disaster, but you know, fingers crossed that we're able to get it all done and that nothing gets damaged. So yeah, that's the update. I will check in with you guys once there is more to update, of course. So I just walked in the door. I have not turned on the lights yet. It's been a couple of days and I'm hoping that at this point, that wall that never seems to be finished is finally finished and that the trim is down so we are going to see if they are done if this is done then i think the last thing that they have to do down here is the bathroom which is pressing because i need to be able to use the bathroom obviously but it's not that pressing because i can still come over here and like start working and setting up my bedroom and setting up my office and my bookshelves and everything now that they are done like putting down the floors and painting the walls and uh, reinstalling like the new drywall ceiling and all that stuff so I'm really hoping fingers crossed that when I come down here when I turn these lights on that everything is done with the exception of the bathroom so here we go this is the review you guys are going to see it at the same time that I'm going to see it so here we go oh yeah it's done okay ah yes oh they painted the beam oh it looks so good oh it looks so good and they did fill in that little gap where um, there was like a gap between where the floor was and where the wall was. They filled it in. Oh, I love it. Oh, and they finally put the trim up because this trim had been missing. And also there's a trim that goes above the bathroom that they hadn't put up. Let's see if they did that one. Oh, they did. This trim up here is finally in place. So exciting. So you guys can see the bathroom still is a disaster, but I'm hoping that next week, the focus is going to be getting this bathroom done. We picked out the floor. Originally, what happened was we picked out the floor. We wanted to use the same floor in this bathroom that we used in the upstairs bathroom. But it turned out that 
that flooring was very expensive. When I tried to look it up, and I don't know if I found the right one, but when I tried to look it up, I think it was like $11 per square foot, which is admittedly pretty expensive. Um, and so they told us that if we wanted to put that in this bathroom down here, it was we were gonna have to pay some of that out of pocket because the insurance wasn't gonna cover that. So I ended up having to, which was really annoying because when we first discussed all of the flooring stuff with the contract and everything, like we told them that's what they wanted, that's what we wanted to do. And they didn't tell us then that it was gonna be like an additional fee or whatever. They didn't tell us until it was time to start the bathroom. Like, oh, hey, by the way, this is gonna cost more. So it wasn't an issue that it cost more. It was just the fact that like that is something that they should have told us up front and they didn't. Anyway, ended up picking out new flooring and I picked out a like luxury vinyl sheet or I don't know if it's vinyl sheet or vinyl plank or whatever it is, but it's some kind of like luxury vinyl flooring that I picked out and we sent that over to them. So I'm hoping that next week they will be able to go to, I think it's from Lowe's, Go to Lowe's, get the floor. We already have the toilet. Um, and I think I've already picked out the vanity. I'm hoping that the vanity works. Here's the reason why I'm not entirely sure if the vanity is going to work. The vanity that I had, based on what I looked up, I tried to look it up on Home Depot because the vanity that I had in here was a vanity that we replaced probably, I'm gonna say, within the last like five to seven years. I can't remember why we replaced it, but we replaced it for some reason a couple of years ago. And I had picked it out. Pretty sure it was the one that I found um, that they still sell at Home Depot and it was 19 inches. Now the contractor said that we needed an 18 inch vanity. Now it's possible that what they sell on the Home Depot site might not be the same one that I had and maybe now they're making them one inch bigger, but I don't know. So assuming that the one that I had is the one that they still sell at Home Depot and it is in fact 19 inches, I decided to go with a 20 inch vanity uh, because I just couldn't find any vanities in the style that I was looking for that was 18 inches. It was like basically impossible to find what I was looking for in that size. So I decided to go with a 20 inch and I figured if I had 19, one extra inch shouldn't be like the end of the world. But here's the problem. The problem is, I think I told you guys before that they had to rebuild and that's kind of what this is right here. This little base thing had to be rebuilt. And that's why you see like all these things going around it because they had to use cement and rebuild it and these things are just kind of holding the cement in place. What we ended up doing was we made it bigger because we were told that the toilet that needed to go on here, the new toilet, was slightly bigger than the old toilet that we had. So we were told that this base needed to be bigger in order to support the new toilet. So being that we made this slightly bigger, I don't know if this space here is now large enough to fit a 20 inch vanity when they technically already told me that it needed to be 18 inches. Now adding on that extra inch or two might make a difference because this is bigger than what it used to be. So I'm hoping that that does not become an issue. Hopefully they are still able to use the 20 inch vanity, uh, but we'll see. Fingers crossed that that is not an issue. But yeah, the bathroom is the last thing that has to be done. Now I can actually start like organizing my place. So there is still a lot of trash that has to get out of here. Obviously all this stuff on the floor has to get out of here. This is all trash, but I can start slowly but surely putting my room back together. I'm so glad that they painted this right here, like it looks so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. We weren't sure if the wood was gonna take to the paint, but it turned out really nice. So I am quite proud of myself because I spent a lot of time picking out colors and like going through paint swatches, trying to figure out what colors to put together. So I am so pleased with how this has turned out. So I am now going to start unpacking some things and like I need to build my desk so I can actually start working at my desk starting next week and be more productive at work and be more productive and be able to sprint and do all the things that I need to do in a more comfortable environment instead of sitting on this blow up mattress that I've been sitting on and my back has been killing me. So I'm so excited to start getting this place together. So that is what I'm gonna start doing. I That is probably gonna be in a different video. It's probably not gonna be in this video, but yeah. So excited to start putting everything together. But I'm just so over the fact that this bathroom has not been started and we are like 10 days away from September. Your primers, foundation, concealer. This is eyeshadows and all my eyeshadow like palettes and eyebrow stuff. Like it'll be like, you know, Christmas all over again, re-seeing all these books that I forgot that I had. So that'll be fun. It is now September and they're asking us where the toilet is. Why would we know where the toilet is that you ordered? Are you telling me that the toilet didn't come?